Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm working on a Squire Stratocaster Black Burst. This is a 2021 model. It's a newer model that I really wasn't familiar with, so I thought I'd take a chance on it. Bought it for a good price. And I do intend on taking it apart and, you know, selling the parts off. Sometimes, like I said, many times, guitars are more valuable in pieces than they are as a whole. And I don't mind doing that to new guitars. I do sometimes hate doing it to older guitars. But that's not the story with this one. With this one, I actually thought it was a Squire Affinity model. And uh, once I bought it, or once I came across it in person, I realized it wasn't. So it's not a full thickness body. The neck finish is kind of a satin finish on the back. And it's got this larger 70s headstock. So it's a little bit different than some of the Squires that I'm used to. So I thought, well, while I'm taking it apart, I'll take a look inside and see if there's any differences inside there as well. So let's start like I always do and pull off the strings. All right, well, I'll fish these through the tremolo and wind them up, but I did want to point out there is one difference I see already in this Strat in that it's got these vintage style split posts. It does not have the vintage style stamp steel cover on the back. They look like mini tuners on the back, those uh, two post mini tuners on the back. But it has the front that makes it look vintage, and I thought that was kind of interesting. It also is interesting to see that it's a, a ferrule on the front that actually screws down into the tuner instead of just one that presses into the wood. A little bit different from a vintage tuner again, but it's kind of cool to see those split posts on the front anyway. And I like the 70s headstock. The headstock, by the way, has a glossy finish and that gold Squire logo. The fretboard has a satin finish and the back of the neck and the back of the headstock actually also have a satin finish. This is a 21 fret model. I'm not sure how different that is from most Squires, but I just wanted to point it out. And I'll check the radius here in a minute. Alright, so what else can we find out about this thing? So it has a nine and a half inch neck radius. That's typical of a lot of modern fenders. The neck profile is, I'd say probably a medium C. It, it's a little thin, thinner than a standard C, so it's probably a medium C. And the, th the frets are kind of a medium jumbo, not, not particularly super wide or anything, and not particularly tall. They're just kind of in the middle on both counts, so. That's all pretty standard. Probably a one-way truss rod if I had to guess, just because it's not a biflex truss rod. Also, two-point tremolo, but otherwise fairly standard. Six individual saddles and three springs, small block. Let's go ahead and take this pick guard off and see what we can learn inside there. All right, well, the jack looks like a plastic really pretty cheap jack. That's not really surprising, but I just wanted to confirm that before we got under this pick guard. And the pick guard... Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's got these uh, ceramic bar magnet pickups in here. They're not Alnico's at all. And it looks like a ceramic, definitely Chinese humbucker. The humbucker is not splittable. Pots are full size, which is okay, but you know, they're inexpensive pots, inexpensive caps, but it does have two individual caps, which is something I'm seeing on a lot of imports now. It's got that breadboard style switch with a stamped metal cover on it, but plastic internals. So all in all, kind of what you'd expect to see in a very entry level guitar. Also, just by the nature of the finish in here, I can see that this is a solid body and it's not plywood at all. But I'm going to go ahead and take the neck off just to verify that. Before I do that, I want to desolder the connections on the jack so that I can remove the jack. Then I'll flip it over and remove the back plate and desolder the bridge wire. Before I remove the neck, I will point out the neck does have a skunk stripe on it. That's not always true on Squires. Again, I think I said the body is not full thickness. The finish is quite nice on this thing. It's definitely 
at least a three-piece body and it's not super high quality wood you know you could see some nice grain patterns in here and it's got that sort of transparent gray stain in the middle and black on the outsides so overall I mean I think there's some value in this body just because it looks so good one last thing about this neck it only has one string tree which is you know I'm used to seeing two on squires but this one only has one All right, well, there are some markings in the neck pocket. It does say AFST. I don't know if that means Affinity Strat, but this is not an Affinity Strat. There is uh, some pen markings and some stampings. There's also pen mark, or sorry, stamping in the neck pocket. None of that really looks like a date. Well, no, I take that back. It does say 2021 in there. One other thing I guess I would note about the neck is that it's a maple fretboard on a maple neck. So they are two separate pieces there. And one other thing to note, the body is not plywood. It's a three-piece body, you know, this way, but not plywood sandwiches. Here's a little better look at the tuners, as I was talking about. They're sealed tuners, but they have that vintage front. And while we're checking out the body, one last look at the routing. So there are accommodations for humbuckers in the bridge and neck position and a single coil in the middle. This one was just an SSH but it's obvious that you could change this to an HH or an SSS or an HSS or any combination you wanted. We'll have a quick look at the electronics here. The humbucker has about an 8.4 K resistance, passive resistance. The middle pickup has about a 5.8K, and the neck pickup is also about 5.8K. Let's take a look at the pots. All right, well, the pots are 250K here. Let me check the volume pot. Well, I'm unable to isolate the volume pot, but it looks the same as the other, so I'm going to assume it's 250K. The capacitors are... 0.022 microfarad capacitors and they're both the same even though this guitar is wired such that one tone control controls the bridge humbucker and the other tone control controls both the neck and the middle single coils. Let me measure the neck pocket for those of you who are into project guitars. It's about a 2 and 3 16 neck pocket and the heel of the neck is just a bit over two and an eighth. So I'm assuming it's intended for a two and three sixteenths pocket. For those of y'all that care about the pick guards, this is a black, white, black three layer pick guard with only partial shielding. And the back plate is a single ply back plate and it uses the American bolt pattern with the offset center screws. All right, folks, well, I hope you picked up some useful info about these squires today in case you need some parts or in case you were interested in purchasing one. It's not a review. I did play the guitar a little bit ahead of time, and it did play nicely, but, you know, it's a Squire Strat, so you get pretty good quality for a pretty good price, and that's about all I can say about it. Thank you all for liking and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate the subscriptions, and I'll see you next time.